What is up, you beautiful human beings? I hope you guys are doing really, really well. So today we're going to Solo Flawless, um, Warlord's Ruin, and I'm just going to commentate towards it, towards the video. We're going to use two builds, but don't get discouraged. The exact same build, the only difference is one is with Synthesis, and the other one is with Paragel Gauntlets. Okay, so with the Synthesis build, this is how it is. Hammer of Soul for our super, throwing hammer, healing grenades, Soul Invictus Roaring Flames as our um, aspects, and then four our fragments, Torches, Ashes, Searing, and Imperium. If you have Imperium and Solus, they cancel each other out, so don't bother with it. Imperium is fine. If you have that one where if you pick up a Fire Sprite and it gives you Restoration, I wouldn't accept it because let's say you had Restoration times 12 seconds, Restoration 12 seconds, and then you pick up a Fire Sprite, it goes down to three. You don't want that. You want something consistent. And the way the build works is you get kills with your hammer, heals you, healing grenade heals you, um, and then you continue getting your callus mini, your um, solar weapon kills will continue restoration, and um, you'll be fine. Now, this is the mod setup. So, three heavy handed on because when I get a non -me powered melee kill, it gives me an orb of power, and that gives me recuperation. So, that's just an extra bit of safety. And it's really beneficial. Cool. Now, for the next build, it's exactly the same. All of this is the same, except we're using Burning Maul. And we're using Power Gales. Now, if you're not sure, power, Burning Maul, it modifies Burning Maul into a single high damage slam. That's it. Unless you want to be a ballerina and you go around and just smacking things with your hammer. But we want to do as much damage as we want to the boss. The mod setup is a little bit different, and this is the reason why. I would have had it the same. But I'm trying my hardest to try and get my super twice through the second boss, which we'll talk about later. But if I can, you'll, you'll do a lot of damage and you can probably finish it earlier than I did. So I have my intellect at 70 and my, um, yeah, I had my intellect at 70, intellect at 70 and I had my harmonic siphons on just so if I can try and get my super bag as fast as possible. All right. During the during the video, you'll see me switch to my reserves, and we'll talk about it as we go. Now, weapons, scatter signal, and with mine, I have fluted barrel, enhanced battery, overflow, and attrition orbs. Overflow, picking up special heavy ammo, lowers this weapon even further than beyond normal capacity. You can probably have like eighteen shots in the in, in at once. It's pretty cool. And then you have attrition orbs. That's going to give me a better orbital power, which is going to help me with my super. And then we have the Callus Mini Tool, Zully's Bane, and Sunshot. I actually, to be honest, just used the Callus and Sunshot. I mean, I was using Zully's, but I thought, you know what? Nah, screw it. It's fine. I prefer the Mini Tool anyway. Now, for our heavy weapons, we have a lot. So I'm just going to explain it to you. For the first encounter, we're going to use the Lament. For the second encounter, which is the Ogre, we're going to use Dragon's Breath. For the third and final boss, we're going to use Cataclysmic. And during, we're going to use Galahorn, which I will talk to you about as we go. My Cataclysmic runs Arrowhead, Enhanced Battery, 4 times the Charm, Bait and Switch. So, for our artifacts, we are making sure Solar Operative is on, because it gives you a 50% weapon boost. Trust me, it's worth it. Um, Raised of Precision is good too. Anything that's pretty much Solar, Revitalizing Blast, Heart of the Flame, Killing Trigger, Flint Striker, Kindling. You might not need to do this. But, you know, it's good. Trust me, those are great. What is up, everyone? I hope you're doing really well. So, let's start this thing by jumping up here, and up here, and up here. And I forgot to tell you that we're going to be using the Wastelander. And the Wastelander, mine has one two punch and dual loader i think and it's just important because the punch gives me an extra boost uh, with my melee damage at least for the first boss i don't think i'll be using it again for any other one let us go so when i have tips and tricks and stuff i will let you know and sometimes i'll be silent sometimes i'll talk through this is different normally i will record it as i play uh, but this time I was just telling my friend who I caught up with, like, hey, I'm just going to try this out. 
and as we were catching up, I was just playing and I ended up doing it. So it's always good. So over here, we're going to put two solar reserves on. One, two, and then a stasis. Because there's a lot of solar damage in here. All right. And then my solar reserves chest piece so I can get more ammo. Oh, I think normally it's like 53 and I got 69, so that's cool. Now we're going to use Lament for this one. And Power Gale's Gauntlets with our burning hammer of soul, sorry. And I want to try and focus on getting as much kills as possible so I can get more ammo. Um, that's important. The way the encounter works is you can see I'm in a cage. I have to shoot three eyes. Once the three eyes are open, then I have to stand in this little thing here. If you, the boss will drop one and then put you up there. And then if you kill it quick, if you get those eyes quick enough, the boss will drop another. And each one gives you, I think, four seconds or 10 sec I think one is 10 sec. Let me see, actually. Yeah, so you get around eight seconds with um, per thing. And I think with, yeah, so eight seconds per totems. If you obviously do two, you get 16, which is a lot bigger of a, of a damage phase. That's pretty much how this part goes. As you can see, I'm trying to get kills and stuff. But I also, right here, I get my shotgun out and I s try to stick to this side because the people that spawn, the monsters that spawn now, they will have um, a lot of solar. These guys, they smack you with, with their lanterns and that's not cool. So if we can try to limit how much. A big tip that I like to do is look up to the left. Um, I naturally, you can see it's pretty hard to find those things. I naturally, um, I realize for me, I naturally go left. If I go right, it feels unnatural and I just, it just doesn't, it's not smooth. So feel free to do what you want. That's how it works for me. So I just look up and then go left. Notice that the cage, the cage does climb with you as well. So it goes up too. And there will always be like three, there'll be three eyes, one in the middle, one in the top, one in the bottom. But it's not like, let's say like this is my my square, my face, right? And it divided into three. So this is the middle, that's one middle and then this. Instead of it being like way down here in the bottom, it'll be just like close to it sometimes. So it's a bit hard. Plus the thickness of the cage sometimes can hide the eyes as well. So you just gotta be worried about it. You gotta worry about it. Just uh, practice. Practice makes perfect. You start getting a little pattern. Now that I have my super, um, it is a good time to chill, relax. I prefer uh, Solar Titan for this. I'm not that great with Strain, but at the same time, just, I don't know, I've, I've done so many things with this build, like Ghost of the Deep. Um, then just so much practice, I'm really comfortable with it. As you can see there, that cage did go up. So there's 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. It'll take about 6 seconds for one portal, pretty much. 3, 2, 1. Right. Super. 3. With Lamet, the... It's one, two, three, and then four. Uh, it's charge, light, light, heavy, light, 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 and then charge, light, light, heavy, light, 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 light. That's the way it works out. If you don't know what it's like, it's so you charge it, and then you light attack twice, and then you heavy attack once, and then you light attack four more times, and then you can repeat it again. At that time, you'll have enough energy to repeat that process, and that's the best efficient way of getting lament. Um, but the issue is, if you're not on solid ground, you go flying everywhere, so you just gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I went right this time and I got really confused. Oh, I panicked so hard here. I remember panicking. Like, I'm not going to get this. I'm not going to get this. <gasps> yeah, I have to get the totems. I forgot about it. If you miss the totem, you just go into the next phase. You do it again. And it's good to put up a barricade there too, if you can. So, zero. This is an old um, tactic that we used to use. Um, and I almost died, so I, I press my super button. Like, oh my god, my, oh, my, whoops, I need help. <laughs> my eye screwed up. Uh, it's fun looking back at these videos because you see things that you don't, you don't use, you don't recognize that you do. So I noticed that for me, you hear that noise, that's always the cage. Oof. Now if we're heavier prioritizer. For me, I like to like, if my damage is low and I know I am, my, my, hand, my fingers are already on the bottom for grenade. I'm on keyboard and mouse too, so for that, for me, it's cute. So my fingers are already ready, and then I'll, you know, sometimes I'm late. So I wasn't able to get, uh, in this run, I don't think I ever got two of them. Hmm. But it's cool. Sometimes, if you're quick enough, he'll drop both of them. <laughs> now, the way this works is, on the left side, you'll see me check right now. There's a skeleton and it's got five. His right hand's pointing to five. So five of these nodes need to go left. So this is one. I'm about to get this one too. Right about now. That's two. Oh, sorry. Five of them need to go right because it's his right hand. And there's six in total. Um, and yeah there's six in total so five right and one left so you can see i'm doing right here yep i shoot this guy i'm just checking everything before i go up there because when you go up to that other room yeah i always screw this up the first time but this one i didn't so that was really cool Ooh. down and see that one's left so I did four I did five right and one left ding and it works awesome if you're running this with other people there are two areas where there's skeletons there's one in the beginning and there's one on the other end so you need to look out for both of them Traversal down the hatch right now and down this one. We're going to jump over these guys right now. Try to get in this hole. I missed. Missed again. <laughs> now we're going to jump over those because there's traps. Don't worry about this guy. We're going to crouch. Slide under those traps. Go take a right, and we're now in here. Hug this wall because there's traps on the right. And we're gonna take a right. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I'm still trying to figure it out. I can't, I can't even give tips. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm watching this. I still don't know. Now there's traps here, so jump over there. And we're gonna take. Yep. Here's the important thing, it's something that I used to get confused about. So we go down and take a right. We go this way. Now at this crossroads, always go right and jump because there's a trap. If you go left, then there's another trap and you die and it's not the right way. Yeah. After that, there's not many there's not really a trap here. So always make sure when you go past that room, you have options to go right or left, take the right side at that last moment. 
there will be traps too, but just be careful. Uh, but that will be it. Once that's over, then you don't have any traps. You've gone the right way. Hmm. And you're just making your way up. I'm about to go. Nice. That rock is going to fall because it's got no stones and stuff. See? So just be careful. Now, the reason... Um, I, might, I might have trouble syncing my audio up to the audio of the video. So you'll hear me count down or you'll hear me like say go or something like that. Don't be alarmed. It's just for my editing purposes. We're going to kill this guy with a hammer right about now. Just get our buffs going pretty much and we're going to try to skip all of this. Whee. Up, up and away. This rock too that I just landed on will go, will fall too. You can hear it fall. Now we're going to take a left straight away. Yep. Mr. Diggle, where are you? It's hard. It's easy to get disoriented, but I really like this dungeon. Bungie has done a really good job with it, I'll be honest. Especially since if you compare it to Ghost of the Deep. Uh, this one's actually pretty cool. It's still hard. It's still hard. So we're going to plant the flag right about now. We're going to change the dragon's breath. We're also going to change to scatter signal. I was going to do Riptide, but I changed to stat gather. And my scatter does have overflow and attrition orbs, like I said earlier in the video. I'm just saying if the magazine gives me more and it doesn't, so it's fine. Chest pace of reserves. And this boss fight is actually a lot harder. It's not harder, it just takes longer, you know. Um, now, it's important to also have two arc and one void on this there's a lot of arc damage the boss does arc the acolytes do arc there's a lot of them and then the snipers do void so important now the way this dungeon this this encounter works if you don't know it's that there's little right now on my left it's hard to see but there is a um, little thing and right now if i'm right that that thing right in front of me where the where the ads are there's four of them around that area Pretty much you need to get balls, dunk all four balls, and it will be damage on each of those areas. Okay, it will make sense later when we're in the video. Um, now when you shoot all the eyes, a guy is going to spawn. He'll drop a totem if you kill him. We wait for him to drop a totem and then we will kill him and then he'll drop another one. Each totem gives you, I think, each totem gives you a ball. So we're trying to get two at at the same time it's the same thing in all directions so this area right here will be one as you can see he's the guy so just waiting for him to drop it hopefully he drops it yep and then we're going to kill him and he drops another one and our job is to try and get both of them done but we have something called biting cold i think when biting cold gets to 10 it wipes you so our goal is to try and not get wiped and the way it wipes you is by eight it slows you down so by eight seven eight nine you're already slowed down ten you're dead so once the imminent witch leaves then the storm is going to leave so you can always come back down and i like going down here to kill the snipers there'll be four snipers all together two on each side that's one and that's two i'm sorry there's a lot of information but hopefully you're catching it along well as you can see now i have two of those balls so i need four to dunk right Now, for me, later, I, um, oh, God, what was it? I, I found easier ways to deal with that, <sighs> to deal with, like, killing the eyes and being safe. Um, something to take note of is the boss does boop you, like, he, when he hits you, it does move you about, and you'll see me, like, flinch flinch over to like like a little glitching out to a corner or to a side or whatever and that's just because of the boss so it's very important not to jump in this puzzle in this in this boss fight i i tell us all the time do not jump do not jump um 
it's very risky and you know you're trying to flow this all of it why you don't bother with it it takes forever to get to a damage phase here I, I, it does i need to be quicker at it but at least i'm able to do it and my first damage phase does not go well at all um, like i said earlier in the video i'm trying to this build that i'm using now i'm trying to get my intellect my super back twice and i couldn't do that first phase and you'll uh, the second and third phase was good and the fourth phase was uh well the damage i did by the end of the fourth phase would have i would have done it already if i did it normally which if i got the first phase properly but anyway it doesn't matter you'll see it's actually pretty cool and i explain what i figured out too now you have plenty of time here like 18 seconds both of them you need six seconds to do both of them and sometimes they're just so close to each other so you're fine like there's a lot of time here there's no need to rush as you can see now i've got seven seconds on the other thing five seconds on the thing four three two one i missed it so <laughs> yeah you have plenty of seconds but no um no you're fine you're fine so in this case i'll start it up again and just kill the guy don't even wait for him to drop a totem and just go um, but it's important to kill the snipers. I, I, they just do more damage to you than you should. Uh, it's just better to not have them. Uh, I tried using Zeal's Bane here, or Sunshot here. I personally just prefer this. I feel like Callus does a bit better. Um, it's got a lot in the mag too. But that's totally up to use whatever you want to use. I think flawless soloing things is an art. And you know, you can do whatever you want and that's totally up to you. But for me, it's more about, I'm going to limit uh, I'm going to limit how much lack of control I have. And by doing that, like, for example, I remember a friend was doing a dungeon and they had a restoration build on. And I was, I was thinking about, you've ne you don't use your restoration. You don't keep it up. You don't manage it. So you're sitting there relying on hill clip, for example, and you're sitting there freaking out. So it's, well, that's not exactly what happened, but you know, he took it too high and he was able to, um, he understood what I meant by that and his run started becoming a little bit better. So I don't know if this guy has to drop the other one, to be honest. But yeah, so just managing your time, making sure some for me restoration is always a always a a factor in my mind. Now on my left, I don't know if you saw it. But I'll show you later. There is a that that little thing right there. There's a it's a um staying there will keep you safe from the cold. The imminent wish is zero now, so I don't have to worry about it. Boom. Three, two, one. So Invictus. I have it again. So I'm not trying to say anything bad. Like my friend, he's doing really well, and he'll get to what he wants to do. But I'm, I'm what I'm trying to say is like when you're flawless thing, you're not like for example this dungeon. I'm not jumping. You know, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, you know because that's going to take more that's going to add more stress to the dungeon i'm also you when we go to use um for the final boss i'm going to use uh, briars you know and that it's just easier for me to use briars than it is for me to use not briars sorry cataclysmic it's just easier to use that than briars content because i prefer the one burst over the three yes you'll do more damage with briars but no i I'll do damage with Briars and yet be stuck with it as well. So, I just less messy. I mean, if you can make any dungeon run less messy, the better it is. In my opinion, anyway. I have even gone into the first phase yet. What am I waiting for here? Oh, just taking care of stuff. My bad. So time. This 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 part took the most. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but as you can see, this is my first ball. Oh, my second ball to deposit. Deposit it there. 
Man, I went on that rant and didn't even forgot what I was doing. My friend's actually really highly skilled. I learned a lot from watching him play the dungeon too. I was giving him tips and he actually showed me a lot of cool things I didn't realize. Thank you, Bungie. I just wanted to go here. So on my first phase, which is coming now, um, I killed all these ads, which you are seeing me do right now. And that was actually the downfall to to me not being able to get my second um, my second super back. But yeah, make sure you get plenty of kills and drop um, those heavy heavy ammo finders, heavy ammo, because um, you need it. I'm just trying to get my restoration up here before I go into the damage phase. Yeah. All right. I'm counting this. You'll see here. So, fire dragon breath. Super. And then one dragon's breath again. One, two, yeah, it's end. Dragon's breath straight away. One, two, three, four, nothing. One, two, three. I healed myself. I didn't need to. Two, shoot. Now, the issue with that is I realize. One, two, three, four, shoot. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. Now you can see I'm moving, so every time I shoot Dragon's Breath, I move to the next side. That is so Dragon's Breath can kill you if you walk over it. Um, so it's important to like if I'm shooting it on the left, I'm gonna try and go to the right. Uh, and always move back a little bit too. Don't be forward. So you can shoot and move back like I did here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Now, the reason why I count to four is because it will take around four seconds to get Dragon's Breath to proc, uh, to proc its uh, auto-loading holster. Um, but I did realize that I was, I was counting a bit too quickly in... Um, in the first run, in the second one, I think, and in the third one, I, I counted just a little bit slower. I was like one, two, three, four, and I never had an issue with, with it. So only Victor's is at three, two, one, zero, gone. This guy, I'm not even with the teleportation. Yep, every, every phase, those two, those two minotaurs will spawn. It's really good to get them as, as far as you can. As fast as you can. But don't stress, like, go get restoration, you know. That's a flag. When you see flags, and that's another flag right in the middle, which I passed, those are the places where you can restore your, um, rest uh, get I don't know deep up from the storm and then that place right there on the right side and then that flag right there on the, the in front of me I think the last phase I couldn't do it so I had to get both of them and yeah now if you get close to the boss he will stomp you that's why I'm not using um, uh, that's why I'm using a linear from far away Oh, see, I jumped there. I was really lucky here that the boss didn't screw me over. Uh, but it's six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that was the blistering cold you gotta worry about. But see, as we say, we have time. So we'll grab this and hopefully we'll run back and we'll grab the other one. I don't think we'll make it. No. Okay. Yeah. 
Just gotta kill him quick. You know, wait for him to drop the totem and kill him quickly. I could try it and see if I could just like activate the storm three times, two times, and just kill him real quick. Um, I could. I don't know. So I found out here. You'll see later in the video, and if I remember, I'll point it out. I found out here that if I just hug those that that wall in front of me, uh, the left side, I can see the right, both right ones. I can shoot it. And if I'm on the right, I can see both left ones and shoot it too. So shoot the eyes it's a bit safer but I don't learn that until the end of this so at least I learned something you know me jumping realizing <laughs> oh. twelve eleven restoration twelve and nine eight and it goes up again I would love to do a build video on this if you guys are interested. It won't be that long or like everyone else. It'll just be a simple, here's the build, here's how to use it. And just go do your own thing with it. Um, if you guys are curious on that, let me know. It's been a rough couple days and it's been it's been good thank god just had issues with sleep good so as you can see here i killed them killed them quickly and now both of them in the middle i should be able to get both of them this time yeah and as you can see i go over there get and my biting cold goes down real quick too so you have plenty of time to get this done there's no need to rush it i've I felt like I was going, needing to rush it too until I watched Maddox's video and he was like, you don't need, you have plenty of time. I'm like, yeah, you're right. And I'm trying to catch the snipers before they teleport to the, to the other side, up the stairs. I find it fun. They come out of the hole and it's like instant death. He's just gonna go kill the snipers before I activate. Oh yeah, finish the KIs. It's important to know that that punch does not, it gives me restoration because it gives me a soul Invictus. And then I pick that up and that gives me restoration. But the non, the melee punch like this doesn't extend the time of restoration for me. My hammer can, my hammer can, but that doesn't. But I get an orb anyway and I get some healing anyway. So, and that ability, Regeneration too, so <laughs> find a good sorry if you guys can hear the dog barking in the background. And I'm over here just trying to get my roaring flames buff to three. Uh, because uh, it's just a good amount you do more damage. You do a lot more damage, yeah. I'm getting really close. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna kill this guy because I only need him, need one. I'm sitting there going, "Why am I getting too close after telling the people you can get two? Mm. I'm gonna sink lower and lower into this chair. <laughs> you can use your barricade too if you don't want. I'm just sitting here waiting for the storm to, you know get low enough that I can come in here safely. So zero. If the storm's at 10, don't jump in here. Like, just stay safe. You don't want that blistering cold. Trust me, it does like slow you to the point where you can't move forward anymore and, and then just freezes you. So it's pretty cool the way they have it. So here, look, I'm like right here in the corner. Nothing can hit me, and it's safe to hit that. So that was the tactic I was trying to say. And you can do that with both corners. 
I missed this one. Um, yeah. We're almost at sorry, we're almost at the second phase, and this time I don't kill all the ads, and I'm able to get my super back. So it's important. I pretty much dunk, get a hammer kill, immediately start the damage phase, and that way I have radiancy, I have roaring flames, and I have ads, and the ads will start pushing for your dragon's breath. And you'll get kills with it, which will then ultimately give you a super back quickly as well. I find that I just make it, I can just make it with this build. It's cause, yeah. It's alright, I'm just gonna sit up. You can jump that area, but don't jump too high. Just jump to you can grab it yourself. If you jump too high, the boss will get you and you fall off. But again, practice makes perfect. And I find also climbing up this um, sometimes can be can push you over to the right as well, the staircase. So sorry, I'm just really like I haven't slept well, so I'm just it's not that this is boring me, even though I have seen it three times, but <laughs> um, it's I really just haven't slept well, so I might be yawning every now and then. The order you do this in, like, is really up to you. It's not a problem. When I do this with friends, we do um, opposite. So we start at bottom left. We'll go top right, and then we'll do bottom right, and then top left. And we find that the ogre does not come to you much. So look, I get hammer kill. It still adds, but I'm not going to try to kill them. And I'm going to go straight for boss. One, two, three, four, boom. One. Now I have restoration. Shoot one. So get I'm getting kills at the same time. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, three. Cool. I'm watching the timer as well sometimes to see if there's anything that happens. I'm trying to pick up orbs. Now you'll hear this ding, boom. That ding is then a damage. Or damage is activated. You don't hear that, and it's like a second. So once you step on the plate, wait for that ding, and then start doing damage. Yeah, this one I didn't do much, but that's okay. Just clear the room a little bit. Ding, shoot. One, two, three, boom. No. Just really wanted that super. Three, four, one, and that's it. So that's such a better. That's such a good damage phase. That's a lot better. Um, and it's pretty cool. The scatter signal has attrition orbs, so the orbs that it gets is a bit better too as well. And those give me my super back. Already full of ammo, which is great too. Ooh. When I punch him, I get a. Um, this isn't safe, to be honest. Let's be fair. The reason why it's not safe is because the lower the boss's health goes, the more aggressive he is. And right now, he's up my. Oh, his head is above me. He's above me. I kind of risked it a little bit. And it's cool. I mean, I have restoration, but it's because of that non-melee kill that has Roaring Flames and I get that orb. Yeah. And I did say every time, I think it's every, It's. I think it's like there's a cooldown on it by like a, like a second, millisecond or something. So 
Yeah, normally you punch someone and then when you wait and you do the next animation you get another orb, so it's cool. Just making sure everything's okay. And let's go. I got too close. To oh, he already dropped it, so I'm trying to kill it. Kill him as fast as possible. I can leave. And then I can try and get both of them at the same time. Oof. Hope you guys understand and you guys get it now. Alright. They've used to it for a bit. It's going to close at 5, 6, and it's going back down. And then I can start moving if I want to. Just trying to get these before they can get there. You can get there in like 2, 3 seconds, maybe 4 seconds left, but 4 seconds pushing it. Just make sure your button cold is reset. I like to do the right side in this, in this section because it's a bit easier. Uh, I don't like the left side. Sometimes you can put the thing, the totem in the wrong spot, like down. You can put it down on the staircase or the other side of the wall. Today I went for the fridge and found out there was a lot of lettuce. I was like, what am I going to do with this lettuce? I don't know what to do with it. So I ended up making a tuna salad and with a lot of lettuce and tomatoes and I made my own mayo which was pretty cool I haven't made mayo in so long um, it was really creamy it was plain I didn't really add much seasoning to it it was really nice and creamy um, but yeah and then yeah then I added a mix and I added spices and stuff to it salt pepper and that was pretty much it <laughs> and lemon juice um, and yeah it was really good Thank you for this one. Then I tried doing meringues and I ended up screwing it up. So um, I put the mixture in the oven and just dried it out on really low, like 100. And it's nice now I got some crispy meringue, um, pavlova type style, and got tuna salad. That I made so much. It was like 2.6 kilos. The bowl was like, I don't know. I, I can't even put my hands big enough for you to see it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it was enough to do four meals at 500 grams each. 
and another like 300 grams or 200, 100, 200 grams. Now, if I did, the, the funny thing is, before we start this, you'll see, first I'm not killing much of the ads, you'll see that I wish I, I wish I, um, I wish I got the first phase right, because if it did, I would have been done. You could do this in two phases, if you do it properly. Two, two, three. I'm doing, I did, it took, took, took me four this run. Yeah, if I did it right, maybe two would have. I would have felt better. But hey, lesson learned, you know, you gotta learn your lessons. Bruh. <laughs> so hello to my hat. Okay. Alright, let's oh yeah, I dropped it. By the way, they you only have fifteen seconds to do something with the ball. So be careful. So I do this, pop that, dragon's breath. Nice. One, two, one, two, three, boom. One, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Boom. One, two, three. It's not ready. I, one. Just trying to get restoration up a little bit. Three. Picking this up. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. See, I would have finished it <laughs> in three phases. Three or two. I think three. In three phases, you'd do it. I would have been on my way. But that's okay. See, I hug this wall. I grab this one. And then I switch a little bit and I grab this one. And it's not too bad. And I was safe because I had my um, restoration. So this series is when I flawless solo or solo um, a dungeon. I have flawless soloed, you know, old dungeons. But I don't want to go out of my way to do it again. You know, for content or anything, I just don't want to do that. So what? Ah! <laughs> Get the thing out of my face. Um, I want to. Yeah, the boss gets super aggro. Any ogre boss gets super aggro, except I think um, the one in King's Fall. But Grass Raven is the same thing. So um, what I was gonna say? Yeah. So these the series won't be like a flawless solo run unless I do get one which will be cool but it'll be more of a um, just solo run and talk about tips and tricks and things that I've learned along the way yeah I'm waiting for him to drop it but he's gonna die here so not much I can do I think I try to go for the second one so that's a flag, so I'm just walking over it, walking over this flag too. He hasn't dropped it. And I get scared of the cold, so I'm going to go to this flag. And there's another one on the far corner over there. It was too late, so now I'm going back to kill snipers. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see how we go, man. Um, it's not about floor soloing things, I just... It would be nice to do the dungeons again solo and see if I can finish it. If I flawless listen, great. If I don't, it's okay. So, let me know what you guys think. Cause see, I've already done Pit of Heresy and Shadow Throne. I need to make. I need, I've made the video. I just need to. Oh no, I haven't made the video yet. I need to put it together. 
Um, yeah, which will be easy. And then this one. Uh, so let me know if you want to see Grasp first, Spire, uh, Duality. I think I might do, and Ghost. I think I might do Duality or Ghost. Get the hard ones out of the way. They're all hard, they all have their own things. I don't know what I was checking there. Drop it. Maybe if you drop it. I don't think he drops it. I get a bit impatient with him too. Yeah, he doesn't drop it this time. But I kill him here, which is great because it's right next to the thing. So I don't get any biting. biting uh, I don't get the storm. The freezing effect. So now I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Safety. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I heard him just drop it. My job is to try and grab it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, nice. That's the biting cold. Going back for snipers now. And we should be good to go. The person who soloed, a person soloed this with nine minutes, the whole dungeon. Which is pretty cool. Again, you don't need to shoot all the eyes, but I do all but one during damage because uh, I don't want to have the eyes shooting at me. And if I can save one and just not have to start the storm, it would be weird if you shot all of them and dunked at the same time. And now you have a storm going and you're doing damage. It's like, bro, it's just too much. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Also, my name is Rex Mad Dog. In my bio, you'll learn a lot more a lot more about what this channel is like and about because it's kind of all over the place because I'm all over the place. Um, yeah, if you have any com suggestions with Destiny that you'd like to see, let me know. And if I can do it, I can do it. If there's a part of a dungeon that you're stuck on or you just don't understand that well, let me know too. Um, I, had a, I had a subscriber uh, talk to me about duality. That guy is chasing me. Talk to me about duality. And um, he's like, I don't understand the first encounter. Can you do a video on it? I was like, sure. I practiced that for ages. Absolutely ages. I guess I'm missing one. Wait, did I dunk one and then miss one? No, I think I'm missing, missing one completely. So, yeah. Ooh. Couldn't be bothered moving to the side, so I just used my barricade. <laughs> if I move to the side just a little bit, I might. But you gotta watch it. There was, they did kill me a few times. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Storm's done. Bruh, straight for the legs, man. If you're getting, if you're starting with a titan hammer and you don't know what to do, the biggest tip I can give you is always aim for the body or the legs. Once you're in the body or the legs, you the, the chances of your hammer bouncing back and getting collected is is high. If you just keep aiming for the head, you're like headshot or whatever. One day you're gonna miss it. And it's gonna go places you don't want it to go, and then you gotta wait for your hammer to come back, which this build can do because you can get non melee kills and get it back. Or you, since you always have free armor charges up anyway, special. No, not special finisher. There's a finisher mod you can get on your Titan Mark. That when you finish, it will give you ability, energy, uh, melee energy refill. Didn't want to kill all of them because of damage. Pardon me. I 
again you only have like 15 seconds with that orb and then if it goes away it goes away and you gotta do it again so be careful my big boy my big boy ogre he's, he just wants to spend time with me hell i want to spend time with him yeah surprisingly i feel like the boss fight is a bit better than this personally but you notice that with Bungie's dungeons, so like Inspire, the first boss Inspire, uh, Achilles, he takes forever to kill. And then the final boss is like, it's it's a bit technical, but he, he himself is is doable, you know. But this one is a bit, um, this one's just long. Uh, maybe if I didn't have much mishaps to... I'm just here trying to get my restoration up. I think I got 4 seconds when I get a hammer kill and then extend it up to 15 seconds. So. Plus the way the spawns work is I think you gotta kill one side to then spawn the other. Or something like that, I don't know. It's one at a time, I don't go to waste here and I just go BAM! And BAM. Good job, Rex. Good job, me. Now I want to change to Galahorn and my reserves. And we'll pick up as much ammo as I can find. Which I end up doing a stupid thing here anyway. So I picked it up. Awesome. Woo, look at me. I got 12 on, in, my, um, in my thing. Switch it back. And now I'm going to switch to two void and one arc. Two void and one arc because the boss shoots void and there's a bit of arc damage. And then I go over here and I change my loadout. And then realize I have to change the Galahorn again. Two void, one arc. Good. Let's go get ammo again. <laughs> and then I realize I don't have my reserves on. And I'm like, no. <laughs> so <laughs> I put my reserves on and just go back a little bit. Uh, get max and I go. It's important to always have ammo. If you can, if you can just grind that last phase a little bit longer just to get more ammo um, before you finish the boss off, it's good because Galahorn's going to come in handy, which we'll see here. Now, remember when I said your solo runs need to be less messy? Yeah, that's going to come up soon too. You see, I'm not going for secret chests. I'm not going for specific things. Flawless runs, especially flawless runs, you just you want to be careful and cautious. Now, instead of going left or up, just take a right. Yep. And you see how this? The way these work is simple. The chest that does not have a blue glow to it, so as you see, the right one has a glow, that one has a glow. Uh, that one, I think those two have glows, and then these two don't, but one of them does not. That one has a glow, I think, because it's blue, but the other one doesn't. That's where the that's the chest that's not going to blow you up. But again, solar runs. Don't be stupid. Okay. I like to jump up there, then turn around, jump there, and then it'll be above me on the right side. So turn around, and it was right there on the right. Boom. And this is why Galahorn's really good. Hitting grenade, boom, and now I have restoration. Restoration time, 15 seconds, easy. And everything here is dead. <laughs> Galahorn can clear a room, man, it's good. Jump. Radiance is four, three, two, one. All right, this guy, um, you gotta just give him some time because sometimes he comes back and when he comes back, it will push you off. And then we're just going to take a big left here, and we have to be careful because that rock just fell. Uh, easy. Da, 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 da. Just run the dungeon and just experience it, you know, for what it is. You'll enjoy it. Yeah, be careful here because those floral do run at you. And these witches are a pain. Witches in this game, in, in this dungeon, is such a pain. I don't know what it is they shoot, but. Is that solar? If they're shooting, if they're shooting solo, it's a pain. Anyway, if you hug the right side, they are shooting solo. That explains why I'm taking damage from them. If you hug the right side of this wall, you'll um, you'll be safe. You just gotta be careful. Sometimes it's the rocks that can fly off here. 
But as you can see, we're just using the tracking feature. Spending our time here. This rock's going to fall. Mm -hmm. So just be careful. And you can skip this, but I like to stay here. I like to make sure it's clear. And if I can get, get some ammo, that'll be good too. Always important to try and get more ammo. Like, it's easy for, as you can see, kill that witch. If the witches shoot fire, that makes so much sense on why I take so much damage from them. It also takes, you know, that makes so much sense. But anyway, I'm gonna watch out this thing. I have many clears where I die in the final boss because of the witches. That's annoying. I hope we screw this jump up too. But anyway, we keep going up from here. Playing with my hair, baby. Again, your whole objective is to go up now. So. When I say that, things like these little rooms you'll see, not, oh, it's after this, sorry. Healing grenade, boom. It's very important to hug this side of the wall. You'll see me hug this right side because if I get pushed off, I have the wall behind me and not the abyss, which comes down to another thing. With this build, you get radiancy, right? Why is radiancy so good? It's because when you have those guys shooting at you and trying to beep you off, you can break their shields. So these guys right here, they're trying to shoot me. They're trying to blow me up. I killed them before they can. So they put their shield up and they go to push you off, right? So what you do is because you have radiance, you attack them and then eventually it breaks through their shield and they don't do that to you. If you go in there, it's a trap. So just make sure you're just going up. Um, so that's the whole point of this. The whole point of this is to make sure that when they do try to shoot at you, you are breaking them with their shield because it's super important. That's why I like Radiancy. You'll find that I turned it off in the artifact mods for Unstoppable Hand Cannon just to keep Radiant, Radiant on. And we're trying to kill a lot too with our thing. That rock there is going to fall too. But I didn't get it. Just kill that guy. And then above you. Right here there will be another one above me. But I already have Radiancy, right? So he can't push me off even if you try it. Uh, but th that's the only reason why it's so important. There's witches to my right, uh, but you don't need to kill the witches. You can just keep moving forward and um, eventually you'll be okay. You can tell I've done this before, eh? Whee! Um, another thing about this super is if I stand in the fire, in the Solon Victor's fire sprite place that I created, it will make the super last a bit longer too. Sometimes you'll see in boss fights, the first thing I do is shoot the floor and then stand in it. Now, there are monsters here, and sometimes they do spawn, sometimes they don't spawn. It's more safer if you knock them out because they can catch up to you when you're trying to like change mods and stuff around. So that's what I'm doing. And then after this is the boss fight. <sighs> if you're still here, that's pretty cool. I'm glad I hope I'm helping in some way, shape or form. Always remember to breathe and take time. So over here, you see, I put a barricade because I see that there's still a monster there, just in case. And now I'm switching over to no, I'm keeping the same and switching over to cataclysmic. My cataclysmic has been in switch and four times the charm. Yep, and a boss mock. It's boss spec on. If you have taken spec, you probably want to use that, but I don't have it. For some reason I don't have it. I need to do the last switch rate a bit more. I switched to Sunshot as well because more damage, baby. All right, let us rally and go. Yeah, you see me switch my weapons there because I actually moved and I didn't feel comfortable. I was like, something's off. I don't like it. Nice. That goes from 2023 and let's begin.
So I'm about to shoot this thing and use my hammer. Boom. Those black taken on the floor, they do a lot of damage to you. And they, you'll find them, they'll spawn a lot more here. But the biggest main issue that we're going to have here is you got Void Shield Witches. And as we know now that the Witches shoot fire, that's explained a lot of reasons why I'm absolutely wrecked by them. The Witches are the most important thing. You need to get them down because they do a lot of damage to you. Shoot the eyes. And then those guys with the totem spawn. So the same mechanic that's been in throughout the dungeon. Wait for him to drop it before we kill him completely. Yep, you dropped it and then boom. Now, here's the thing, right? I get something called Hex of Vengeance, Corruption. That guy I just shot, this guy is going to run towards me. He is going to melee me and he gives me that buff. When I melee him, it takes away that buff. When Imminent Wish gets to 6 seconds, he goes away. That's why I'm running away. I'm running away because by 6 seconds he'll die. And I'm safe. If I have that buff on me, and I punch him, and then he punches me before he dies, I'm dead. So that's a wipe. And I use I my Soul Invictus. I try to I shoot the shoot them the Frol to try and get uh, Roaring Flames times free, and I just try to get his thing down. And I use my super instead of my weapons on this because it's just a little bit easier. If I did what if I was going to use my weapons though, I would switch to another platform, which you'll see now. This is the first time seeing there's there's three platforms and there's the boss phase where you it's like proper boss damage and that's another three this one is just to try to get into those to that area so you'll see it'll make sense up to the second phase you'll see but i like this because you can do damage to him each totem gives you i think 10 seconds oh no it's shorter it's shorter here but there's two on each side so with teammates you'll you'll be able to get a longer damage phase if you're doing damage and you shooting and you shoot the eyes during damage phase, um, you can extend duration, but you are not even gonna do that. And I'm gonna show you what it's like. So right now I'm just trying to get my super back. And I'm clearing the rooms. I like to take the left side in the beginning and the left side in this phase and then the left side in the other phase. And I'll tell you like the reasons for it. I just find it a little bit easier to handle than the other sides, that's all. Just punching things, trying to get my mini. Not going too close to the boss because there's something that can boop you. And I think he boops you and then you screwed and you're like, but now that I have my super, I clean that to see now that my area is a little clear now because I hit that ball. So it's just a little thing. I don't have to worry about getting damaged too much and I'm working on these ads. Now I'm waiting for him to drop it. All right, now that he's dead, and I, I can stand in between both of them and I can put a shield down on my, oh, there the guy is. So I'm waiting to punch him. And I'm running away. You can't go and try to get the other one, but the issue, like I said, the issue here is that guy just does, you don't want him punch, punching you, so it's just safe for you to run away. Super at zero, boom. Kill these guys to get rolling flames. And I take that little yellow part of his health down, which helps him advance. If I don't do that, he's not going to advance to the next level. And you keep you do the damage again until that's done. You have plenty of time. You just, I found the super to be the best way to get him down. And the cleanest uh, star restoration. That's pretty cool. But again, you just want to watch out those witches. They will all spawn. And they are the reason why I failed a lot of these. Like, check out that damage. Just, I, I got him finally. Boom, so I got three, two, one on the Sun Victors. Radiant, 15, Radiant, keep going. I might make a dedicated build video. Just chill and relax. I've been testing for years and stuff. So again, just waiting for my um things to go. And now I might do a countdown for the imminent wish. You know, or 
something, just so I know. Twenty-six, twenty-five, twenty-four, twenty-three, twenty-two, twenty-one, twenty, rolling flames and go once it's zero it's like zero negative one and then it goes that's how it works hopefully that can help me with um syncing these videos together so as you can see i missed i didn't kill him because i only got one i didn't get two um i wasn't able to do that much damage with him it's like four seconds you get so it's not it's 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 a bit hard And these black things, like they you'll be like, oh, it's they're not they're not bad. They don't take too much damage on it. But think about it: when things are shooting you, you're like, okay, whatever. I'm not taking much. And then you stand on one of them. And it's like, bro. So I'm just here to grab my super again. Now, after you complete, oh, I just need one to finish this. So after you complete this one area, there's also the way to do the boss fight. It's actually pretty cool. There's a so right above me right now. There's two pillars. As long as you swerve in and out of the pillars, so swerve to the left, shoot, swerve to the right, shoot, you'll be fine. You'll be more than fine. And sometimes if you hide under here, the uh, the guy that you need to punch doesn't see you. Uh, so you just want to watch yourself and be careful. And sometimes he drops the totem up on the other platform. You just got to be careful on that too. So seven, six, he's dead. So you'll see now, I don't have my super, right? So I'm just going to climb up here. And I'm going to do what I told you about. So, boom. I didn't, I didn't do what I was telling you about. I did. But now I'm running and trying to jump up before that I, that wish empowerment leaves. Because if I stay up there, it's going to start the damage phase. And I'm not ready for it. Make sure all my weapons are reloaded. You, I always forget to do cataclysmic. I think I forgot to do it now. But you'll see now what I mean by swerving. So, boom. Boom. One, two, yeah, and then yeah, there we go. That's with two solar reserves, radiancy, and I think roaring flames. Yep. And the uh, artifact mod that gives you solar operative. Boom, boom, bait and switch. Once radiancy hits in, we're good. Yeah, expect to do less damage if you're uh, not in the season's artifact, season of the witch. So. And it's not long now, too. I shouldn't have put that healing grenade. I pressed the wrong button. But anyway, good thing you don't heal the boss key. Can you imagine that was a mechanic in the game? That would be hilarious. But as you can see, also, I'm not taking much damage. The only damage I'm taking is from the arc balls, which hardly see me, and the boss is not. You know, affecting me that much. So that's the best way to do. Witches, witches, witches. Since this is the... That was actually one phase. That was one phase. Um, again, witches are important. So this is what I do. Now be careful shooting them like this. Because you can accidentally shoot the eyes. And the next minute it's like... You've activated a phase. And you're like... Bruh. Just the damage they do. The fire solo damage. It's ridiculous. And this is with 100 resilience. <sighs> Smart Bungie. Smart. Have my super ready so there's no point in like wasting my time farming. And I shoot. So with my scatter signal, it does kill the those little blights with one shot. I in Riptide does the same thing. And my hammer, so it's cool. So I'm just here trying to get both of them. Once both of them are done, I punch and I run away. It's that simple. You can try and get the other one, but it's just rather you not, because at zero, you're dead. You know, the guy punches you and that reaches zero, you're dead. Four, three, two, 
one zero pop my super kill those ads and then boom yeah I like the I like this boss fight a lot it's it's actually one of my favorites bruh <laughs> yay <laughs> And then when we get to final stand, you do damage on the place that we jump down before the flag. And I, I learned something when in this run, and I will happily share it with you. When time comes. I die. There are times in here where I was... A lot of times where I would die, it's nice not having an ogre up your butt the whole time. Or up, yeah. I'll be honest. <laughs> now, those black areas, they can shoot you up as well, so it's imp it is important to clear them. You don't have to clear all of them, just clear the place that you're working on, man. Uh, that's all I will say. Always clear the place that you're working on. There's no add to continue restoration. I think this is the part where I have to, like, be cautious. shoot that thing and I'm safe to like wreck run here if there's no ads. Whee. All right, kill him. Get both of them if I can. I think now I put a shield. Yep. You can do that to just save yourself on the boss. It's recommended. Highly recommended. Punch him and I go. For um, for damage, if you let's say you didn't have your super, right, and you needed to damage to him, you can it's like I just jump to the other platform, dude. All right, I got it. Yay! My friend was laughing at me so hard. I remember. Yeah. So if I wanted to do damage to him, I just go to the other platform and do it. Like it's not a big deal. You can swerve in and out and stuff. So, you'll actually see me. I will do that for final stand, just so I can get to final stand, and then, yeah, I'll be good. I'm just thinking about different weapon choices. I wouldn't change the exotic. I wouldn't change Sunshot or Cataclysmic, but I was thinking Mountain Top. But Mountain Top is actually pretty bad with um with um it's just one shot, so it's actually really good. But you just gotta be careful; it's only one shot. But I was thinking also a grenade launcher that sh blinds people, and then you can use that for the witches. But I don't know. I'm just thinking. Trying to get my super baby, super baby. Then you know. <laughs> Think of it this way. By the time we do damage, by the time we get his little light bar down, we've done half and a quarter and we still have, we'll have damage to do. So that's great. It's easy one of my favorites. This is really nice and fun. It's not even a burden. Like People, like, go, people don't want to do ghosts. Ghost can feel burdensome because of just how long it takes, but if all goes well, that's what I have to do, Bungie, because you don't have to build. I would have normally just brought my hammer at him. 
I miss those days. I really miss those days. They were fun. Switching over this one at four, three, two, punch him and run. Then I have time to finish it. Four, three, two, one. Pop my super. Nice. And this is what I mean. See, it's just so easy. Yeah, I mean, that's why I said reload. But they are in the video. When will you learn Rex? Reload. Boom. Boom. Trying to proc it, I forgot. I didn't have a chance to proc it properly. Nice. You can shoot the eyes to get longer damage phases, but seriously, like, it's one of those things where it can make it really messy and you end up just staying there shooting the eyes. So, I don't know if it's something you really want to do. I find it a little less worrisome. Make sure you kill the witches. Bruh. Uh, my hammer. My hammer went away, baby. I hate it when my hammer does that, man. I hate it when I do that. I'm trying to get that old. That's why recuperation is important. You get that old. Boom. There used to be a way, I think Bungie patched it, where you could jump to this other platform during Final Stand and you just shoot him from afar and relax and take your time. But the way I figured out too. So in the in the boss, on the left pillar, in the Final Stand, which you'll see, in the left pillar, there's a little black orb and that thing will do so much damage to you and kill you. I found out that the hard way. But the right pillar is free, so you can just do the swerving technique and you'll be all right. There's a little flinch and there's a little arc damage, but you'll see me like halfway through our proc in damage phase. The way it works is I will um, I will do it. And then when I need to reload, I will just pop my super and finish him off that way. Try not to kill him, Rex. Thank you. And run away. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. important to get that roaring flames well I don't think you do much damage to him yeah all right didn't mind if I had to if I could go to final stage I, I don't think I mind it but you'll see me now so so now I want to go to final stand but I don't want to use my super so you'll see what I do with it and this is what I was talking to you about going to another platform and doing damage like that Gotta be careful. So once that boss transfers, then everything else comes out. And the witches, they'll spawn in the middle, and they'll always go. One will go left, and one will go right, and try to get the back end. Just remember that. Sorry, I'm not bored. Like I said, I'm just really tired. And 
know, as you can see, I don't need much because the final stand will be immediately. So I don't know if I, I don't remember if I did both to totems. I do both totems. Let's go punch him. And you'll see now, so 11, 10, 9, oh, run away. 5, 4, look where I'm going. Be careful, those balls will disappear. But like, I'll be safe up here to, find, to do final stand. Once he's done, I can reload. And then you see I'll go to the left here. I'm like, I'm safe, baby. Nope. I'm like, what's, what's going on? And then I realized, so then I moved back to here. And we start properly. You have time. I don't. Yeah, you have time. So as you can see, I could have just kept doing this. But then I popped my super just to finish him off. And there's a lot of, da there's a lot of flinch. There wasn't a lot of damage, but there was a lot of flinch because I was in my super, so. It's got to be careful. And that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Ooh, so I'm about to reach. I have just reached a minute, an hour 27. Easy. Beautiful. Congratulations, everyone. Woo, we did it. Yeah, so that was it. So... My tips and tricks are just to take your time, get to know it, do what you can. Um, yeah, I want to see something funny. Oh no. My mouse has died. I can't believe my mouse died. <gasps> Am I safe? I think I'm safe. Oh God. I can't believe I survived. Thanks, Bungie. Oh. Oh. Oof. All right, where are we? No! No! The witch. Oh, we just popped my super. Oh. Nah.